boy looking elite. So you guys, I want to bring out this video on John Moran just because we definitely got some things we got to talk about. So we all know just recently All-Star Weekend was held in Salt Lake City, Utah. And there's actually a lot of things that I want to go over dealing with John Moran's second year experience playing in the All-Star game. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, leave a like on this video as well, and also press the notification bell for future updates. Now let's get to it. So we all know throughout Jaws' four seasons in the NBA so far, he has already been named as a two-time All-Star. Throughout this season it actually has been very unique for him, mainly because he just recently debuted his new signature shoes called the Jaw Ones, and Nike also held a pop-up shop at Mount 12 Ski, including an ice store for fans to have a one-of-a-kind experience with John ja Morant and his first signature shoe release. Throughout All-Star Weekend, Nike decided to debut the Jaw Ones Midnight, which is an all-black colorway shoe with a translucent outsole. The shoe also contains an icy sole, and beneath it, there's a message that says it's 12 a.m. somewhere. So as you can see, it's a really nice and well put together shoe. Ja even posted his reaction on his Instagram when he first saw the shoe and you could tell that he really do like it a lot. So shout out to Nike, the shoe really does gives out his personality. And also when they hosted Mount 12 Ski, they literally had a design of a shape of a Nike Ja Ones, a grizzly head with Ja's 12 chain and a Ja One box. So they really was going all in for him and you already know the fans really did love it and they're not going to forget about that at all. So once he finished doing all of that, the very next day on Saturday during All-Star Weekend, Ja had press conference interviews with Jaron Jackson Jr. getting ready for the All-Star game. And those interviews was actually really funny because Ja and Jaron kept goofing around. And on top of that, everybody knew that Ja was blazed because all the interviewers kept asking Ja questions and he just kept looking at them all confused and talking all slow and everything. It was just so funny. Even when you read the comments, everybody already knew what was going on with John Morant. But when you think about it, he was in Utah and there's not really a lot to do over there. So, of course, he was just bored. And last year, he actually did the exact same thing because he pulled up to All-Star Weekend on Casamigos. I even remember when he pulled up to the arena last year and they were just taking videos and pictures of him. He literally had his head down because he knew he was intoxicated. And he was not trying to look at the cameras at all. So he just walked past everybody. But this year, he got a lot more confidence because dude really was zooted, just having fun, showing his grills in his mouth and everything. So the very next day on that Sunday, which is when the All-Star game took place, later throughout that day, you can see Ja arriving to the arena, wearing his All-Star merch, including with his signature shoes in his hand. And he went to the locker room to get dressed in his uniform. So right when he entered the locker room, his locker was beside Shays and Jaron Jackson Jr. And when Ja was putting on his jersey, just look at his reaction. You could tell that he wasn't really rocking with it at all. One, because he knew the type of teammates that he had on his team. And two, Jaron Jackson Jr. was on LeBron's team. And we all know Ja and Jaron Jackson are like really close friends. So of course he wanted to be on the same team with his friend. So right after that, him and Jaren went to go take pregame all-star pictures just because they are teammates for the Memphis Grizzlies. So of course they had to take pictures together. But one thing that I realized was that Ja recorded a video updating the Grizzly fans on what he was doing. And basically during the video, you could tell that he really was upset about something. Now, honestly, I don't know exactly on what he was upset about, but I really do feel like something happened in the locker room. Because like I said, his first reaction when he saw his jersey and he was putting it on, you could tell he was not rocking with it at all. And now when he records the video, he's looking real upset. Like, I really do feel like something happened in that locker room. One is because he's not on Team LeBron and two, his teammates. He knew exactly the type of teammates he had on his team. And I just really do feel like John Morant was feeling some type of way because he was just showing it. It was just so obvious. So right after that, Team LeBron and Team Giannis did a player selection. Giannis ended up selecting Jaw twice on accident, basically showing the respect he has for him. So of course, Giannis really do like Ja because he respects his game a lot. And honestly, I really feel like the reason why Ja was not on Team LeBron is because of Kyrie Irving. We all know the whole trade that happened with Kyrie getting sent to the Dallas Mavericks and everybody wanted him to go to the Lakers playing alongside with LeBron James. So that's why LeBron drafted Kyrie Irving so they could have their duo going on. Now, now check this out you guys so once the game started of course Ja was a starter but here's the thing he tipped off with Kyrie Irving right and Ja's first basket was a two-handed dunk 
He then had the opportunity to do a reverse dunk, including a 360 dunk as well. But one thing that I realized during this game is that literally his teammates was not trying to pass him the ball at all. Mainly Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, and Damanis Sabonis. They was not even looking John Morant's way at all, you guys. Like, literally, they was ignoring him on purpose. Jason Tatum and Donovan Mitchell were sharing the ball to each other the whole time. And that's the main reason on why they were scoring so many points. They're shooting threes the whole time. Like, are you serious? And even his other teammates, Damanis Sabonis, he was not passing John the ball at all, including Bam Adebayo. Bam would literally inbound the ball and throw the ball off of the fender for him to bring the ball up down the court when he see Ja right in front of him. They was literally treating him so wrong, bro. And I see on why Ja was upset and frustrated before the game even started because he knew the exact type of teammates he had on his team. I knew something was going on in that locker room. That's why he was looking upset. And even Ja finished off the game with six points, three assists, and three rebounds. And on top of that, he played 20 minutes. And to remind you guys, he was a starter and barely was getting the ball. How is the starter barely getting the ball? It was getting so bad to the point that Ja just stopped playing defense. He was just walking up and down the court. He didn't even care to play defense or score the ball anymore. Even when he finally gets the ball, he would just pass it to Jason Tatum or whatever because he knew exactly what they was doing for real. And it's just so lame to me because the whole time I was literally just watching them looking at everybody on the court besides Ja Morant. Ja is literally just sitting in the corner, just sitting there like he a casual or whatever. Like he's the starter of the team and not even getting the ball, bro. Like, man, Team Giannis, y'all are so lame for how y'all was treating y'all. I ain't gonna lie because I peeped all of that that entire All-Star game. And on top of that, the game was so boring because all they was doing was shooting threes. Like, how y'all gonna just shoot threes in an All-Star game? Mix up your players. Do something, bro. Like, drive, dunk, do something. Why you gotta shoot threes, man? I understand Jason Tatum dropped 50, but bro, that was the most boring 50 I ever seen in my life. I ain't gonna cap. And even Darvin Mitchell, when he get the ball, he's just shooting threes. We all know when Damian Lillard gets the ball, he's going to shoot a three. Give Jaw the ball so he can actually make something shake and make the crowd go wild. So that's honestly the reason on why John Morant was upset during the All-Star game. And I know some of y'all seen my last video I made on him that was titled, John Morant's friend got banned for this. Well, basically his friend D-Top pulled up to the All-Star game as well. And he took a picture before the game. Basically being at a lounge, he tagged his location and also said, we lit twin at John Morant. The funny thing about this post is that Right after the All-Star game, Jaron Jackson took a picture saying hi 12 at Ja Morant and Ja ended up reposting it and adding an All-Star picture he took with Jaron Jackson, but he did not repost the tap picture that he tagged him in. So that's very interesting to me. I definitely want y'all to leave y'all comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about this. I thank you guys for watching. If you make sure you like subscribe, make sure you press the notification bell. T Gang, we out. Chuck. Hey, what's one, what's, what's one song that describes the team? Ooh. But uh but uh <laughs>